Hey, Steve here again with Pinnacle. I want to talk to you today about some of the formalities in building. And what I mean by that is, if you're thinking about building a house, not actually the construction component of it, of lumber going up in the air and asphalt shingles and siding and so forth, I want to talk about some of the administrative components that go into an A to Z process of building a home. So initially when you sit down and say we're going to build a house, you have to get a survey, a topographical survey or an architectural base map of the plot of the land sent to an architect. At that point they can design a building and see what building is going to fit the right way on that piece of land. Once they design everything and they get the set over to you and you say, okay, everything looks good, that's what we're looking to do, then you take your architectural plans, sealed sets from the architect, and you send them over to the building department. Now, initially, when they go to the building department, they go to zoning. They spend 10 business days in zoning. And what they're doing there is they're making sure that the setbacks comply, they're making sure that the elevations are good, great elevations, they're making sure that the height of the building is fine, and it's not encroaching in certain areas. After you get the approval from zoning, you go over to construction. Construction, which is the building department, has 20 business days. And in the construction department, they're actually looking for aspects within the building. So they're going to be looking at fire blocking issues. They're going to be looking at gas runs. They're going to be looking at electrical detail sheets, making sure that all of these areas within the building, specced by the architect, comply to regulations and compliance standards. Once you get through building, you get a building permit. Once you have the building permit, you're allowed to break ground. Now, after you have the permitting processes through and you're getting ready to build the building, you're going to deal with survey work. And survey work is whether it's a foundational survey to make sure that the first floor of the building is specced at the right height, whether it's a midterm. Generally, your midterm is done when the ridge is set. A midterm is an under construction as built survey to make sure that the height of the building is compliant and other aspects of the building are compliant generally before you put siding on the building. So ridge is set, you have your under construction midterm. And then at the end, you're going to have a final as built survey, which is done right at the end before you actually get your final compliance from here in town, Ken Jones going out to give you a final zoning permit. So you have the permitting process, you have your survey process. Now the inspection process throughout the building. As you're running the building from A to Z, there's various inspections that you're going to have to have. If the building is not on pile and it's on block, you're going to have to have an open joist inspection. So that's when the inspector will come out and he'll look whether your joists are 16 inches on center or whether they're 12 on center, he's going to take a look at that. If it's on piles, you don't have to have the open joist. They can inspect it right from under the building. So generally, you have an open joist inspection, then you'll have an exterior frame inspection, which is at that point, they're going to make sure that if it's required fire compliant sheathing, you have the right sheathing on there. They're going to make sure that if you have fire spray that you have to do of undersides of the decks and along the rafter tails of the building, wherever it's compliant and required, they're going to look to see that that's done. And they're also going to make sure that fire blocking on the exterior part of the building is compliant with what is spec. So an exterior frame inspection. At that point, then you're going to run through, you have a rough plumbing inspection, you have a rough fire inspection, you have a rough electrical inspection. If you pass all of those inspections on the rough stage, you're allowed to go for your interior frame inspection. So you have your mechanical roughs first, then you have your interior frame. Your interior frame, they're going to be looking at the bones of the building. They're going to be looking to see that fire blocking has been done the right way. One of the hot areas right now is within the fireplace chase, making sure that we don't have any major runs running up that chimney chase. So there's a lot of fire caulking that's going on, and there's a lot of flat blocking that occurs within there on the interior frame. And they're going to be looking at fire blocking throughout the entire building, making sure fire can't spread. Once you get through the interior frame and you're good to go, you can insulate the building. After you insulate the building, you have to have an energy inspection. The energy inspection is just as it sounds to make sure the energy is, the, the insulation component is set the right way, the R values are spec the right way, and that energy is going to be contained within the building. You get through your energy inspection, you're allowed to drywall or sheetrock the building. 
once you put wallboard on the building, then you move forward with all your interior work and all your finishes, and then you have all of your final inspections. So you'll have a final plumb, you'll have a final electric, you'll have a final fire, you'll have a final building, you'll have a final compliance, which is based on your final as-built survey. So, just a little bit of insight about the formality and the administrative process of building a home, running it from A to Z, and making sure that you hit all of these valuable points. It's not just about putting a building up, it's about putting a building up the right way and making sure that it's safe and compliant for people here in a coastal community of Ocean City, New Jersey. Thanks so much. I hope all is well. If you need anything, feel free to get in touch with us here at Pinnacle.